Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Quality Magnify India. Myself Deepak Kumar Samal. Welcome all of you once again to my channel. In this channel, YouTube channel, you can find out lots of video regarding piping, painting, welding, NDTs, auditing, API pipe 10, pipe 70, 653, C3, big gas, all these activities you can find out in this uh, channel. There are lots of videos. As I mentioned here, this is my 103rd video and I'm up and, I, and in future I am going to upload more and more videos. So today's topic is harness testing. So in this video, harness testing, I will briefly explain to you what are the different types of harness tests we do for metals, for GRP, GRE, for rubber, for glass. And you will able to know, get an idea what are the units for that and what how, how the testing will be done, okay? And how a comparison will be created. So briefly, about harness testing, you will get to know all these things. If you need in detail about harness testing, let me know in comments so that I can create a detailed video in future. So friends, let's, let's start harness testing. So hardness is a characteristic of a material, not a fundamental physical property. Why it says so? Because the hardness can change during the process, the metal moves. Okay. Let a plate was rolled from the casting shop. It came to a fabrication shop. It was welded. It was formed. Okay. A formation was done, a rolling or bending was done. Then welding was done. Then it goes to some gas cutting. Then it go, go pass through a stress releasing process or something like that. So all this process, the hardness will change, okay, according to the process of uh, fabrication process or casting process, the hardness will be changed. So it is defined as the resistance to indentation. How much impression will happen? Resistance. If it is more resistance, then it is more hard. If it is less resistance, then it is less hard, okay. If you bring a steel and a gold. And you hammer it, then the gold will be flattened. You know, gold we make ornaments, right? In steel, we cannot make ornaments because steel is harder than gold. Okay, if you compare silver and gold, then gold is more malleable, more de ductility is high in the steel because you can roll it, you can draw it in wear form, you can make it in seed form. But in the case of steel, it is more hard. If you compare steel and glass, glass is more hard than steel. That's why if it is more harder, then it is more brittle. High the hardness value, higher the brittle will be. If the hardness will be very high, then it will be brittle. If we take an example of cast iron and mild steel, then cast iron is more harder than mild steel. That's why cast iron is more brittle. If you hammer on cast iron, then there is a chance cast iron can break. But in mild steel, it will not, not break because the hardness level of mild steel is lesser than the cast iron. That's the reason. So it is defined as the resistance to indent in indentation and it is determined by the measuring the permanent depth of the indent. How much depth it will happen? By measuring the depth, we can find out how much the hardness is. Hardness in steel can be defined as a property that resists per penetration. Okay, How much penetration and deformation it resists? By this, we specify the hardness. So less penetrate, less deform, higher the hardness value. You got my point? If there is less penetration, less deformation, then hardness will be higher. More penetration, more deformation, then hardness is less. Okay. So similarly, every material has their own hardness requirement for the intent purpose. Even if we measure the hardness of water too, you know, water, we measure the hardness. If there is a more TDS uh, dissolved solids are there and more uh, minerals are there, then this water is called hardened water. Okay. You cannot drink hard water. It is not drinkable, not recommended to drink. So to do the hardness testing, usually we use some of these equipments. Okay, if you can see these equipments, uh, this is a uh, machine equipment and this is manual equipment. Okay, so what we'll do? We give some uh, uh, pressure uh, by uh, automatic process and we give some pressure by hammering. Okay, whereas we put a ball, a diamond shape uh, tip, and we hammer on top of it. So when when we hammer it. It make an impression, okay? You, it make an impression. So we measure the depth of the impression. We measure the dia of the impression, length and width of the impression, and we do a calculation in order to find out how much the hardness is. There is a calculus, calculation for beaker scale. I will show you how they calculate for the hardness of any metal, okay, by beaker. 
So let's consider for the steel where we have three most used type of harness testing. This is called Brinel. The Brinel is more, uh, uh, it is uh, more popularly used, okay, BHN. We call it Brinel harness test or BHN. Then Beakers, Diamond test and Rockwell test, okay. But Brinel is more, um, most of the time they use only Brinel because Brinel the range is higher, okay. Up to 100 BHN to 650 BHN, uh, we can check in Brinel test, okay. All three methods involve uh, indent of the material. The harness is calculated by the measuring of force applied and comparing this to some uh, geometrical aspect of the indent, such as the surface area or depth. That calculation I will show you. So, this is for steel. For steel, what we are doing? We are doing Brinel test, Baker's diamond test, or Rockwell test. But for rubber, we have different type of equipment. We cannot use the Brinell Baker or Rockwell uh, type uh, way of measuring the harness. We have durometer, okay? The harness is called sore harness. For rubber, we check the sore harness. Similarly, for barcoal, barcoal test is used for GRP, GRE materials. Okay, where there is GRP, GRE material, we use for bark. We use the barcoal harness test. Where there is a rubber, we use the durometer for sore harness test. And for rock, glass, and diamond, we use Mohs harness test, MOHS, Mohs harness scale. Okay, so now you get to know for steel it is different, for rubber it is different, for GRP, GRE it is different, and for rock glass and diamond the harness scale is different so for rockwell <coughs> rockwell uh, superficial harness test what we do rockwell or it is still hrc okay harness rockwell uh, 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 test uh, <coughs> is one of the most common unit used for listing of harness of machine materials the test is done by measuring the depth of the penetration as i told you so in this test usually they use a ball or a diamond shape uh, tip okay the hammer on top of it by hammering or by using a machine then whatever the impression is coming they measure the depth okay and they measure the dia okay how much it is there is a scale okay the, the rockwell scale is divided into nine sub scale marked by letter a to k then by comparing this scale they find out how much the harness is okay and the machine metal is usually between 10 to 65 this is the usual harness uh, uh, of a machine metal okay but the procedure how they use they either use a uh, uh, diamond tip or a ball and at that time you have to find out how much load you have given the more the load the more the indent or impression will be okay and after that whatever the impression is coming you have to measure it how much depth it goes and what is the width and length okay by doing a simple calculation you can find out what is the harness test so this is we are using rockwell after Rockwell, we have Brinell. As I told you, Brinell, Brinell harness test has a range. Okay, what is the range? 100 HB to 650 HB. Okay, so Brinell is more couple, popular because in Rockwell, you, you only go up to 180 HB. Okay, you cannot go up to 650 HB. So this is also similar type of uh, testing, but the pressure used is 3000 kg. Okay, 3000 kg force and the ball dia is 10 mm dia. So here the formula is there. How they find out the Brinell harness test? Hb is equal to 2f minus pi d, d minus d minus d uh, root over of d minus d. When I say d, capital D, it is the dia of the ball, which is 10 mm. The small d is the impression how much it made. Okay. If this is the plate, we put the ball here. Then what is the impression it made? This is the small d. Okay. And the capital D is the diameter, diameter of this ball. Okay. So, F is the force which is 3000 kg. By doing this, you can find out how much the Brinell harness testing, uh, uh, Brinell harness is. Okay. And the last one is the beakers. For the beakers, the pr uh, principle is same, but here we are using a diamond tip. In the diamond tip, what we are using? We are taking D1 and D2. What is D1 and D2? D1 and D2 after you hammer it. Okay. You put a hammering on top of this. Okay. The force is here. After putting the hammering, you will make an impression like that. A square will come okay so you have to find out what is d1 this way in this way what is the d1 and in this way what is the d2 after that you have to find out d d is equal to d1 plus d2 by 2 and by this formula you can put it and you can find out how much how much weaker harness testing will be so all the values you know f is the force d already you find out so you can find out it is 0.1891 multiply f by d square so if you put this formula, you can find out how much the Beaker's harness is. Harness is. So this is for the uh, steel materials. Okay. 
after that what we need we need for sore hardness okay where we use um, uh, durometer okay for the rubber we are using usually durometer if you know uh, if you are working in the <coughs> if you are working in the industrial sectors if you see there is expansion bellows okay expansion bellows usually sometimes it breaks so to check that expansion bellow hardness usually we need a durometer why because expansion bellow is a rubber okay we cannot use uh, any type or any other type of uh, hardness testing on that one so that is a rubber that's why we can use durometer and the hardness is common sore okay there is sore number for that one so sore a hardness is the measurement that comes from sore durometer tool the tool is used to measure the hardness of rubber polymer and elastomer to indicate their resistance to indent how much resistance it can make higher number of the scale means greater hardness we don't need high hardness high hardness as i tell you as i told you earlier if it is a hardness will be higher then it will brittle okay <coughs> then we have to uh, come for the last uh, one grp gre grp gre as i told you it is easy to use hardness test, uh, testers for ideal of testing of hardness for soft metal plastics fiberglass and others okay Th this one we called it barcode testing okay barcode barcode machines we are using for plastics fiberglass leather and soft metals okay so these are a brief idea about the hardness testings now you know in uh, briefly how hardness testing of steel is done how hardness testing of rubber we have to do how hardness testing of uh plastics fiberglass or leather or soft metals we are doing okay thank you very much friends for watching this uh, video if it is if you feel it is useful for you kindly share with your friends and uh, don't forget to subscribe this channel uh, as i see a lot of uh, views are coming and uh, i can see more than 80 percent views they are not subscribers so kindly subscribe to this uh, channel it will give me a boost to make more and more videos in future. Thank you very much.